The Center for Medical Progress has accused Planned Parenthood of selling aborted fetuses for a profit. A charge Planned Parenthood has denied, but has Senate Republicans pushing to defund the organization. I spoke with local Democratic Representative Daniel Gregoire and others protesting the organization in Marlboro. Nobody wants to talk about abortion, but it's a constitutional right for Americans right now and we have to protect that right. I don't think that the nation or any state uh, should be uh, funding uh, an organization that provides abortions. I definitely agree with their attempt to cut off the funding because I, I, I don't think anybody should have to pay for an abortion. Um, it's, it's certainly especially for people that are against abortion. But it is also important to note that no federal funding goes to termination services at this point unless the case is emergent or dictated by law. According to Planned Parenthood's annual report, abortion is only 3% of the services provided. It's a really important tool for people who are seeking cervical, breast, uterine cancer screenings, STD screenings, and most importantly, prevention, pregnancy prevention methods. Regardless, these protesters don't agree. What they're doing is, is uh, trying to teach children about a sexual morality that I think uh, many parents would object to. Planned Parenthood is saying that the selling of these body parts is, is done for science. My question is, if it's done for science, why has it been such a big secret for so long? As a nonprofit, I imagine they're exempt from that. I would be more than happy to push for them to disclose all of their information. The National Institutes of Health Vitalation Act of 1993 allows human fetal tissue to be used in research. However, the Planned Parenthood location in Marlboro does not perform abortions. This office right here is a doctor doctor's office. There are doctors and nurses inside who want to provide health care to men and women. And so I really think it's an added value to our community. The Senate vote was 53 to 46, meaning the measure to get the 60 votes needed to defund Planned Parenthood failed. It's a fight that continues. It's a battle. It's always a battle. Um, but it's an important battle 